Hey guys, it's Darkshot the Poisoner here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. The last time I recorded this was. Let's see. I think, by my calculations, the correct answer would be a long time ago. A long ass time ago. Like, I'm talking two months here. Like, I had stuff pre recorded forever and ever, and I was just uploading. But anyway, when we left off, we finished Freeze Easy Peak, but we never got the. Um, Grunty Switch reward from it, so we're, that's what we're going to do right now, right off the bat. So you have to press that flying pad switch, and then the flying pad appears. Sprint on over there with the running shoes very quickly, as fast as you can, because they don't last very long, and then quickly take off. Um, we're going to kill two birds with one stone, if we can. Um, set ourselves up for a different jiggy we're going to get later, and we're going to bust uh, Grunty's eyeball out. And now we're going to go collect um, the reward. I just did that to save a little bit of time later in the game. I had no idea what Grunty just said, because I wasn't paying attention, frankly. Uh, oh, there's a Mumbo token there, too. I forgot about that guy. Anyway, this is the reward. So now we finally have that Jiggy. Good way to remember it is that you always have one more Jiggy than the number of worlds you've finished. As far as Gruntilda's Lair goes. Because remember, we got that free one right off the bat. So that's why there's always one more, there's one more Jiggy in Gruntilda's Lair than however many worlds there are. And I'm really thirsty right now, so I'm going to take a drink of Coke, don't mind me. Ah, delicious. Anyway, so we, um, are not going to go this way. I'm a nincompoop. We're actually going to go this way because we have to go do Gobi's Valley. I was getting slightly ahead of myself. I remember I said, you know, I, f I always found Gobi's Valley and uh, Freeze Easy Peak to be kind of confusing because they're in the reverse order of appearance and level number. You know, they're inverses of each other. It's really weird. I don't know. Strange, uh, strange design decision on, on Rareware's part. But I'll take it how it is. Get out of here, Scarab Beetle. People call that thing a bee. It's a scarab, okay? Like... I don't mean to say it's obvious, but it, to me it's kind of obvious because this is the desert. This is Gobi's Valley. And hey, remember that ginger that we, <laughs> we skipped out on the first time we were here? Well, this time we're going to get him. And hold on, my game volume is like really loud in my ears. It's like, like super mega loud. I can turn it down so I can actually hear myself. Hear myself think. Oh, there's a burp. Burp number one from the Coca-Cola. This tree got a face! Ew. Trucker wants rain. Gasp. I'm shriveling up. How's your nuts, bark breath? That was nice, Kazooie. No, cough. Need water. Help. Heppel. Heppel. So, he's, uh, you know, we're eventually going to get some water for him, but we're going to have to call on an old friend of ours. Um, but we will meet him later as well. Some running shoes right there. I'm not quite sure what for. I don't, I don't think I've ever really, really used them. Whatever. Take it how it is. Alright, so these are these, like, little chasing hand things that used to scare the living piss out of me as a kid, and then I learned that you could slam them, and then I realized that they were not scary at all. So, Gobi's Valley is actually a really cool place. I do like the music in here. Not as much as some levels, but it's still really cool. But, uh, I, I like the design. It's very consistent all the way through. It's all, you know, very orangish and stuff, and there's the, uh, whole sphinx. And all that other stuff. So anyway, in the meantime, like, I guess I can tell you, like, what I've been doing. I've been playing a lot of the new games that have been coming out, which is probably why I haven't been recording. You know, that Kingdom of Amalur is coming out, or is, like, coming out on my channel right now. Um, but, you know, I, I in there I explained its connection to this game, so, you know, they're, they're kind of related. Not exactly related, but kind of related. Go watch them if you haven't, because that game's really cool. He's got a, this guy's got a flying pad on his back. We're going to come back to that in a little bit. But for right now, there's more important stuff that we need to be doing. And he's going to tell us. Brief cutscene. Or brief dialogue, not even a cutscene. Wow! I fell off. That was like the most unenthusiastic response to anything happening ever in the history of the world. Like, wow, man, I fell off. Holy crap. Anyway, so yeah, I've been playing a lot of the new games that have been coming out. I've been playing, like, Gotham City Imposters. I put down Call of Duty for a while. 
Um, actually, I've been playing Black Ops more than I've been playing Modern Warfare 3 recently. Um, other such things, I've been, uh, I've been diving into a lot of indie games as well for some weird reason, just like buying the $1 indie games on, um, on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Does it take two in each mouse roll? It only takes one. Hey, that tickles. That ass. Um, so yeah. I would highly, uh... What's, what's, uh, there's one game that came out that I was like, I really wanted to recommend to people. Is it like sitting next to me? I don't know. Also, like, way too much Skyrim. I put, uh, well, to be honest, I bought Skyrim for PC and Xbox. I bought it for PC first, um, on launch day. And, and because I, I played Oblivion on the PC, you guys know that. It, I, I recorded it on my channel for, you know, a decent amount of time, 11 episodes or something like that. It wasn't a whole lot. I don't really plan on continuing the series at the moment. But, um... We're gonna fall, yeah, we're going to fall down there later. What's the point in going over there? Um, but yeah, I got it on... I got Skyrim on PC because I loved Oblivion on PC. I loved the PC interface rather than playing it on Xbox. Unfortunately... The reverse happened with Skyrim. Uh, obviously, it's a PC. Uh, it's an Xbox port in all respects. It's it was programmed for Xbox. It was ported over to PS3 and PC. Um, whereas whereas Oblivion, I th I thought it was made the same way, but it was definitely more multi-platform friendly. Skyrim is definitely not multi-platform friendly. If you are a big fan of Skyrim on the PC, congratulations, but if you play it for Xbox, you will realize how much smoother of a game it is. So I do own two copies of it currently. So that's your first Jiggy of the level, in case you were paying attention, which I wasn't. Um, so yeah, that's my rant for the day. Another hand guy's gonna pop up, and I'm just gonna smack him. Alright, so there are four... Notes on the ground here, eggs, and the mumbo token, as well as the, that jiggy. You basically saw what happens. I also like how, like, the <laughs> the shadows shrink, but they, like, don't move. It's really, really weird looking. Kind of silly. And I'm walking really slowly again. Look at me. I'm going around saying stupid stuff. Is there anything I forgot in here? I don't think there is. Because we got the Jinjos. So we have two Jinjos already. Probably the fastest two Jinjos of any world. No, I take that back. I think, uh, Mumbo's Mountain had... We got him faster. Mumbo's Mountain's pretty, pretty quick level. Oh, hey, uh, we need to go back here a bit. Because... Um... We need to get on this flying pad, that's what I was trying to say. And I think the first thing we're gonna want to do is... Go on the flying pad and we're gonna fly through the ring on this guy's head, the honeycomb ring. You know, honeycomb big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not small. No, no, no. Great big bite and a great big taste. Where did it appear? Oh, over there. I forgot. Anyway, if you knew what I was talking about right there, then you're one crazy mofo because that is an old commercial for honeycomb cereal. And I just remember as a kid, honeycombs was like... Honeycombs was like super good and I loved how it tasted and everything. But the stuff got soggy so fast, it was ridiculous. Like, you had to eat that stuff within milliseconds before it got soggy. Otherwise, you were screwed, and it did not taste good. That's all I remember about honeycomb cereals. <laughs> I do like honey-flavored cereal, though. It's, uh, but I haven't even had cereal in, like, the longest time. I've been eating granola bars and coffee for breakfast. Admittedly, not the healthiest choice in the world, but, you know, it's quick, it's easy, and it gets me by, so I'll take it. Go in the hoop! Awesome. Only joking, mortal. You suck. I can only give us this. Only? It's a Jiggy! I'll take that any day of the week. Alright, so, now that we're finished flying around, we can, uh... We can pick up this Jiggy, um, but then we're going to actually lift back into the air straight away. I'm going to drink more Coke. Gulp. Gulp is right. Because I just gulped down my Coke. Alright, so we're going to fly up just a bit and immediately beak bust and should get us by. Oh, wow, dude, I missed by like a pixel. 
Ah, that's, uh, that's crazy. I'll get that Mumbo token later. Don't want to get it right now. Oh, look at that lens flare! Look at the lens flare! Oh my gosh! Uh-huh, -huh, there we go. Alright, so this door is gonna open up, and it gives us, for some strange reason, 20 seconds, but the cutscene takes up, like, 5 seconds of the time, which is just stupid. Right, quickly jump in there. Don't slide all the way down. We come across this character. He's a very strange one. But you're also going to want to remember his name for the end of the game. Like I always say, you know, definitely want to remember character names in Banjo-Kazooie because they do become important later. So, Momo Token, and let's talk to this guy. Come on! My name is And we're looking for treasure, Pipe Boy. Very good, I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes. So, um, if it wasn't obvious enough, we got a poop in this little um, bucket of his. Usually, like, oh man, usually I can get it in like one try. There we go. How many does it take? Damn! Thing takes eggs like it's his job! There we go. And if I didn't explain it before, you can um, you can pick up eggs after you poop them out, as you saw right there. All right, so this guy's gonna come out. We can stand on top, and just a little shortcut, and uh, he'll lift us up to a jigger. Check that out. And after that, I don't believe there's anything else in this room for us, so we can exit promptly. Um, over to our left, if you hadn't gotten it before, there is um, the molehill that would teach you um, the sprinting shoes, I think it was. Yeah. Also, I'm trying to remember. No, I didn't miss any. I don't, I don't think I've missed any notes yet. I'm trying to remember if there was um, notes that I missed on palm trees. Those are the ones that always get me. The ones that are like... Just put in the stupidest places. Hey, Scarab. Oh, you thought you'd get me? <laughs> Better luck next time. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I'm supposed to be doing here. I think usually I go around back. What's up, Scarab? Come here. Come at me. Um, yeah, I guess I will. We're gonna pick up these shoes, run over here to this area, and you know, you can see there's quicksand here. Obviously it would hurt you, uh, but we also have to pick up these notes, which is, uh, this is, this is a common theme in this level. You're gonna have to wear boots or use something to pick up notes that are in the quicksand. Um, but right here, there's also a guy holding a jiggy, one of these hand guys. Grab has got a jiggy, nur, 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 nur. And if we try and grab it from him, bear's too slow, nur, nur, nur. So he's gonna tell us he's too, we're, that we're too slow to pick up his jiggy. So, obvious solution is obvious, we're gonna have to be faster to pick it up. And what have we over here, other than the speedy shoes? And some notes. 43 notes? Am I the only person that, like, looks at, like, the odd-numbered note count, and is just like, that does not seem right? <laughs> oh, mother pooper! And we got the G anyway, whatever. I'll take it. No, I've had that a thousand years! Well done, mortal! Dude, if you've had that a thousand years, I would have been a lot more disappointed that some bird wearing some tennis shoes came and stole your thousand-year-old treasure. I would have been... I, I would have been quite remorseful, in fact, I would have probably killed myself. But he's already dead, so we can't do that. 